Local lifeguards responded to the capsized boat and Fox 5's Jamie Chambers. He continues our team coverage from Mission Bay where he spoke with one of the first lifeguards on scene. Jamie. Yeah, good afternoon, Maria. These are the types of rescuers that train for this exact type of thing over and over, but it's still just an absolutely tough situation to come into. They say that this rescue is the most significant they've seen in their 25 years of working as lifeguards. Yesterday was a big day. Yeah, it was uh, one for the books. Ben Lewis was one of the first San Diego lifeguards on as what sounded like a routine call for one person needing vessel assistance quickly unraveling into a full scale disaster response. That boat had disintegrated and there was no longer a boat. It was debris field in the water. Along with dozens of people scattered in the heavy surf without life vests. Some of them were non swimmers. Some of them it was hard to tell. Some of them made it to the beach and managed to get in there. Lewis and his crew on Rescue Boat 5 pulled victim after victim on board, also dragging a Navy rescue swimmer into the boat that dove into the dangerous surf to help. A lot of people are in serious time of need. Stay calm and think clearly. Early in the incident, rescuers were trying to distinguish victims from debris, and the loss of life was difficult. It's tough, yeah. It's tough and it, it can it can get to you and you can definitely think about those types of things. We're saddened for the families. Um, we're saddened for those individuals. So our prayers are with them. But after a 25 year career preparing for a mass casualty incident, Lewis says he was ready to do his best. This was the one. This was not a training exercise, but this was the one and we were proud to um, rescue the survivors that we could. And it was just an incredible thing to have all those people, certainly not enough lifeguards there at that exact moment that everyone needed to be there, but they did exactly what they were trained to do, pulling out as many people as possible, working through that medical scene, and they did an extraordinary job under the circumstances. One of the worst places to land a boat in all of San Diego County, those rough cliffs along uh, the Cabrillo National Monument right there at Donut Holes and Dolphin Tanks for those surfers that know that, just one of the most dangerous spots for for surfing as well. That's the very latest from Mission Bay, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, we thank you for that.